Hi there, good morning, afternoon, evening, middle of the night, wherever it is, whatever you're doing, wherever you're scrolling. We're so glad that you're tuning in, that you're watching, that you're listening to this daily devotional by us at Audacious. Um, we absolutely love um, that we're doing this um, and the people that we're able to reach by doing so. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, we love to have you a part of the Audacious family um, and we're just so thrilled to have you a part of our daily devotionals. At the moment, we're kind of running like a, a series where we're all sharing a meaningful scripture, a scripture that is meaningful to us in a personal way, maybe, or in a way that has helped shape what we believe as Christians. Um, and Today, what I want to do is I want to talk about a verse in Ephesians. Um, Ephesians is a book written by Paul. It's found in the New Testament, um, which is the second half of the Bible. Um, and the verse that I really want to concentrate on today is Ephesians 3, verses 6 to 7. So why don't you stop what you're doing? Um, maybe you're on a train on the way to work. Get your notes section up. Grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen and um, we're going to explore this scripture together. Um, I'm going to read it for you in case you don't have a Bible to hand. Um, if you do have one, let me encourage you, go and get it. Maybe it's a Bible app, maybe your analog paperback. Encourage you to go and grab that. Um, and I'm going to read it for you anyway. So it's Ephesians verse, chapter 3, verses 6 to 7. And it is God's plan. Both Gentiles and Jews who believe in the good news share equally in the riches inherited by God's children. Both are part of the same body and both enjoy the promise of blessings because they belong in Christ Jesus. Love it. I think the first question we need to ask and to understand um, if we're new to understanding, and we want to understand this, um, if we're new to maybe read the Bible, new to Christianity, is what do the Jews and Gentiles represent? What does it mean to be a Jew? What does it mean to be a Gentile? And they represent two separate groups of people, two different people groups. The Jews, they have grown up knowing the truth of God. You know, they were brought up going to... Um, it was it was kind of just part of who they were. Um, God was woven within their daily lives and their routine. Um, it was spoken about at home um, and in the synagogues. And the Gentiles are the new believers. Now, they weren't brought up knowing the truth and in knowledge of God. So the, the way that these two groups grew up, the way that they were taught, um, the way that their families ran the way that their communities and the things that their communities were based on are completely separate, two completely different people groups. And what Paul is teaching us through this scripture is that all believers, both groups, no matter their background, no matter how they were brought up, what their communities were based on, um, the things they talk about um, in work or as they were doing other things, um, it doesn't matter because whatever because they are both equal in Christ. Doesn't matter. Background, where they were born, country, colour of their skin, none of it matters. We are all equal in Christ. To be in Christ means that we are connected in unity through our own personal relationship and revelation of Jesus. Thus becoming a part of the same body and all, everybody, are able to enjoy the promise of blessings because they belong to Christ Jesus. Such a powerful truth. Such a powerful truth. So we all are equal in Christ. No matter where we've been, what we've done, what we've seen, what we've said, where we were brought up, the colour of our skin, any of it, none of it matters because we are all equal in Christ through our own personal relationship and revelation of Jesus. And why is this verse so meaningful to me? It's meaningful to me because it gives us hope. 
It teaches us that God's love isn't limited to a single ethnic group, but boulders, charges its way through ethnic divisions. The gospel message in Revelation, promise of blessings and freedom are for everybody. Absolutely everybody, no matter, like I said before, where you've been, what you've seen, what you've done, where you're from. Um, God's love is for you and it charges down the walls of any divisions um, that we create as people, as man, as women. Um, the perspectives that we have on different groups, um, whether that's, you know, different classes or, or whatever it is, God's love surpass surpasses all of that. It doesn't matter when it comes to God. All that matters is that you are a child that he has created, that he loves, that he has a purpose for, and he will do anything to be in relationship with you. I hope you've taken something from this devotional. Um, I hope that that you've been able to listen the whole way through um, and really, really get a hold of how much God loves you and the ferociousness that he has when it comes to being in a relationship with you. Um, and I just want to pray for you right now. And then you can go get on with your day, get to sleep, whatever, whatever you're doing. So God, I just thank you um, for your love. God, I thank you that your love surpasses every understanding, God, that it surpasses any perspective or any barrier that we create with our own minds, God. God, that it surpasses ethnic groups, God, that those boulders that, that we seem to, that some people might have in their minds, Lord. And we just thank you for for your ferocious love, God, that, that you would want to be in relationship with us, that you will do anything for that. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus. And we thank you that through him, we are all part of the same body and that we can all be connected through relationship with him. In Jesus' name, amen. It's been a pleasure to be with you this morning. Um, have a great day, afternoon, evening, sleep, wherever you are in your cycle of a day. And we'll see you soon. Thank you very much.